I am a liar. Well, if I am, this statement must be a lie as well. But if that is the case, the statement would disagree with me being a liar. But if the statement is true, I must be a liar. But I just spoke the truth. This was a paradox. And just like this, the statement, every general statement is false, is also a paradox. The word paradox, coming from para and doxos, translates literally as beyond belief. Paradoxical statements or arguments can be one of three types. Type 1. A statement which appears contradictory but may be true in fact. Type 2. A statement which appears true but is self-contradictory and hence false. And Type 3. A statement which leads to contradictory conclusions. This is also known as antinomy. Russell's paradox or Russell's antinomy is a type 3 paradox discovered by the famous British mathematician Bertrand Russell. He presented this paradox in 1901. Formally, it considers a set of all sets that do not contain themselves. But then, does that set contain itself? Either answer leads to a contradiction. To further explain this paradox, Russell presented the barber paradox in 1918. If there is a barber in a town who shaves only the ones who don't shave themselves, so who shaves the barber? We can't say that the barber shaves himself because he only shaves those who don't shave themselves. Mind blown? Paradox. This showed us a big flaw in the already used set theory, the naive set theory. To understand the naive set theory, let's go back a few hundred or thousand years. A bunch of people wanted to know how much food they had, and hence, they invented counting. Then they wanted to know how much more or less of food they need, hence, they invented addition and subtraction. Then. Moving into the future, we started asking questions and hence invented calculus and probability. Moving on, we started to discuss about collections and started calling them sets. Then, they came up with the naive set theory. Why naive? Because they were being naive in assuming that every set you could think of exists. And then came Russell. Let S be the set of all sets that do not contain themselves. Is S a member of S then? But S only contains the sets that do not contain themselves. So S is not a member of S? But if S is not a member of S, then it is a set that does not contain itself. So it must be a member of S. And this means that S must be in S and also in the complement of S. Boom! Paradox. To solve this paradox, mathematicians Zermelo and Frankel created the axiom system ZF. Axioms of ZFC prevents its model from containing your elements. Your elements are elements of sets that are not themselves sets. In a nutshell, ZSC does not allow the existence of a universal set, thereby avoiding Russell's paradox. So there. So this was it. But here is another paradox for you to think on. Which came first, the chicken or the egg?